some people think the increasing business and cultural contact between countries bring many positive effects others say it causes the loss of national identities discuss both of the views and give your own opinion in this era of globalization countries have come closer with each other and as a result the business and cultural relations have strengthened some people believe that it is a positive development but a few think this trend may lead to a national identity crisis in my opinion i agree with the former viewpoint as business and cultural contacts have empowered people financially and socially to begin with there are many benefits of business and cultural contacts these days people travel from one country to another for business purposes multinational companies have opened their offices in several nations and it has generated employment opportunities especially for local youngsters for example companies like facebook and google have opened their offices in india where indian youngsters are employed similarly countries sign cultural exchange programs to provide exposure to their students Moreover such programs bring people of various countries together and they come to know about tradition and cultures of other nations. On the other hand some people think that in the name of globalization people are forgetting their own roots. These days nationalism has become an important part in several countries as governments believe that local interests are their top priority. For example, former US President Donald Trump had adopted America First policy. According to him, Americans deserved jobs over foreign employees. He moreover capped H-1B visas so that American companies avoid hiring foreign employees and gave preference to locals. Moreover, several countries are working towards preserving national identity by building monuments and museums. To conclude, in this era of cutthroat competition, it is beneficial for companies or organizations to look for the best talent. It is only possible if business and cultural contacts among countries improve and increase. I believe globalization is not a threat to national identity. Many different countries have most shops and products as the same. Some consider it is a positive development whereas other consider it negative. Discuss both sides and give your own opinion. In the 21st century the world has become a global village. As a result, many companies have expanded their base in other countries. Therefore, several nations have the same shop and products. Some people term it a positive development while other think it has a negative effect. I agree with the later viewpoint as this trend leads to monopoly of some specific companies. To begin with, it has become common to see the same shops and products in various countries due to globalization. A large number of companies have opened their stores in various countries. For example, Adidas and Puma, which design and manufacture athletic and casual footwear, apparel and accessories, have stores in many nations. Moreover this practice has increased their business and profit. People travel a lot these days and with the presence of such stores in many countries they get products of their choice. On the other hand some brands have a monopoly in the market which has affected small businesses. The economies of some countries depend upon local and small businesses. and big companies may hit small shops and products therefore efforts should be made to ensure that local businesses grow amid the surge of multinational companies wealth even western nations including canada stress on the development of small businesses so that people can become financially strong moreover it is the need of the hour to break the monopoly of big brands and products so that people get more varieties Apart from this, with the rise of small businesses, big companies would not be able to dictate prices of their products. To conclude, there are selective shops and products which rule the global market. Moreover, they control the prices of their products, which is a negative development. I believe government should fund local and small businesses for the overall development of a large number of people.